wonder how, I wonder why. It's the day you tell me about the blue blue sky and all that I can see, just a yellow lemon tree. I'm turning my head up and down. I'm turning, 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 turning around, and all that I can see, just a.心底的总是散乱了的，我不懂我自己，越来越像 lemon tree。我一点一点更爱你，我不管不管不管，爱会哭哭的，还蓝蓝的天气，我的爱是 lemon tree。I wonder how。Good day, everyone. This subject is about introduction to philosophy of the human person. Our subject matter is what is philosophy and the most notable ancient Greek philosophers. And this lesson is for grade eleven, and this is a review of. Our past lesson. Okay, good morning, class. So we'll have a review of our past lesson. All you have to do is give what you've learned about the words I will present to you. So first is philosophy. So what is philosophy? Philosophy comes from two Greek words. Philos means love, and Sophia means wisdom. Next, Pythagoras. Okay, he was credited. With the formulation of the Pythagorean theorem, Archimedes, he was considered a leading scientist in ancient times. He is credited for several inventions such as Archimedes screw, a device for raising water, and a method of determining volume using displacement. He is an engineer, a mathematician, an inventor, and an astronomer. Socrates. So he made a great contribution to the field of ethics. So Socrates also developed the Socratic method. Unsa kaya ng Socratic method class? Socratic method is a means of examining a topic by devising a series of questions that lead the learner examine and analyze his knowledge and views regarding the topic. Heraclitus. He proposed that everything that exists. Is based on a higher order or plan, which he called logos. For him, change is a permanent aspect of the human condition, and he was credited with the saying, "No man ever steps on the same river twice." So, what do you think about the saying? What so, it means? So, no man ever steps on the same river twice because the man is changing, and the river is also changing. So, Aristotle. So Aristotle was a prominent student of Plato. His studies in logic led to formulation of a formal process of analyzing reasoning, which gave rise to deductive reasoning. Okay, next, Epicurus. So Epicurus believed the philosophy could enable man to live a life of happiness. So Epicurus, he also his views also um, developed. Uh, Epicureanism. So, what is Epicureanism? So, it's a school of philosophy which believes that wisdom and simple living will result to a life free from fear and pain. Plato. He is a student of Socrates. His teaching and writings were considered the foundation of Western philosophy. Democritus. He devoted. Himself to studying the causes of natural phenomena. The first pr to propose that matter is composed of tiny particles called atoms. The Diogenes. He was a known advocate of a simple and virtuous life. So for the Diogenes, one should not only talk of virtue, but should show it in words and actions. So this, those are the nine most notable ancient philosophers of the Western philosophy. So I hope all of you have recalled what we discussed. Thank you. Goodbye.